Okay, so again, a quick one here in this video, we're uh, just looking at um, physical quantities, okay? So in our last video, we talked, we gave an introduction of physical quantities and we saw uh, a number of physical quantities, their SI units and their symbols, okay? So I said, we well, are only two aspects under physical quantities, okay? Measurement and what? And units, okay? So units, we have derived units and what? base units okay base units we said they only have one si unit okay but derived units are a combination okay and we gave examples okay so if you haven't watched our previous video you can just watch our previous video on physical quantities introductory physics okay so now so i we talked about measurement and i said that we need to measure these physical quantities okay now in measuring physical quantities you need an instrument okay so we have instruments under physical quantities okay so looking at length the first physical quantity that we looked at was length okay so length is simply the distance from one point to another okay the distance from one point to another that is what length okay the distance from one point to another for instance okay if you want to measure the length of this object you're going to measure it at point a up to b okay so this will be the distance okay this object okay so this is what we call what we call length okay so now when we're measuring length okay there are several types of instruments that we can use okay number one instrument that we can use is the meter room okay the meter room okay the meter room Okay, the meter rule. So each and every instrument that we have, okay, that we use in physics, it has some degree of error, okay? It has some degree of what? Of error, okay? So for instance, under a meter rule, there are two types of errors that we can encounter, okay? Two types of errors that we can encounter. We have the zero error, okay? The zero error, and we also have what we call parallax okay parallax what errors okay so now the zero error okay the zero error this one usually occurs okay when your meter row is not starting at what at zero okay when it's not starting at zero or oh, when you don't count starting from zero okay when you're measuring the distance of an object okay so you get this error okay then other error that we have is called parallax error, okay? Now, a parallax error is where you're simply not positioning your eye correctly, okay? So, you can look at a few examples here, okay? Um, so, the first diagram there shows where the eye was placed, okay? It's being blocked by the object, okay? The other one shows it's on top of the object, okay? And the correct or the right way of placing your eye when you want to measure the distance okay of an object using a meter row it's uh, the last diagram there okay so the other one can come when there is no contact okay between the margins of a row and your object okay so the diagrams here show uh, this okay the first diagram there you can see there's a gap between the object and the meter row okay the other diagram there you have your meter row which is what tilted so all these are simply errors that you can encounter and we call them what parallax what errors okay they are called parallax what errors okay so a measuring instrument can give um precise okay but not accurate measurements so, so we need to bear this in mind when we're using any instrument okay for example a rule a meter rule it will give us the precise measurement but not an accurate what measurement okay so the difference between precision and accurate okay so precision there's a definition there is how close the measured values are to each other okay so for instance you first you try you find uh, 2.51 now that time you try you find 2.5 okay at the time you try you find 2.5 Five two okay so you notice that these okay they are close to each other okay they are close to each other so we call this what 
precision okay we call this precision okay we call this eh? precision okay then another the, the other definition okay the definition for accuracy okay is how close the reading is to the true value okay how close the reading is to the word to the true value okay so that's a meter room okay another instrument okay let's look at some of the instruments here you have a table there so apart from a measuring uh, a meter row you have a measuring tape okay you also have uh, a vernier calipers okay we'll look at that in the next video then you also have what you call the micrometer what screw gauge okay so we'll look at this um properly okay so um the vernier calipers okay the vernier calipers is an instrument that is used to measure um we use this instrument to measure um, length okay now the type of length that we use when using the vernier calipers okay the type of length that we use when using the vernier calipers okay so here's a diagram of a vernier calipers okay so let's look at a vernier calipers in a few minutes a vernier calipers it's another instrument that is used okay when measuring what the the length okay so vernier calipers if you look at it there okay first of all the function okay it is used to measure the thickness of solids and the external and internal diameter of objects hollow objects okay so now if you look at the uh, diagram of a vernier calipers you have the internal jaws and you have the external jaws so the internal jaws will measure the internal diameter of hollow objects okay and the external jaws will simply measure the external what, diameter okay so now the formula when you are using the vernier calipers okay so we call this vernier calipers reading okay vernier calipers what reading okay so the reading here you get the main scale main scale reading okay plus the vernier scale the vernier scale reading okay so now the tricky part here about the vernier calipers okay is that the vernier scale reading should always be multiplied by the degree of accuracy of a vernier calipers okay which is 0 0.01 watt centimeters okay so the vernier scale okay so if you look at there you have two readings okay you have the vernier scale inside there it's labeled there's the vernier scale and you have the main scale which is the long one okay starting from zero up to 11 on the diagram there and the vernier scale there as you can see between three and four you have the vernier scale okay and this gives a right accuracy okay the right accuracy for a vernier calipers okay which is simply 0 0.01 okay 0 0.01 zero one so you get the main scale reading plus the vernier scale reading okay so now other things to note about the vernier calipers okay are the precautions okay what precautions do you take okay what precautions do you take before using the uh, vernier calipers okay so the precaution you take here is what check for zero error and make the necessary what correction so the vernier calipers must be zero it must be at what zero okay to avoid what type of error we call these zero errors okay we call these what zero errors okay we call them zero errors okay then the other precaution here just make sure that the the internal and external jaws are clean there could be some dust particles there that would interfere with your what your reading and then it will give you what some some error okay it will give you some error okay so that's the vernier calipers okay so important thing to note on the vernier calipers is that it is used to measure the thickness of objects okay and to measure also the internal and external diameter okay using the what the internal and external internal and external jaws okay using the internal and external jaws okay so now the other thing we can look at here 
is a micrometer screw gauge okay so that's a diagram of a micrometer screw gauge okay so now the micrometer screw gauge there okay we can see that it has what we call the anvil okay and the spindle okay so between the anvil and the spindle that's why we place our object okay between the anvil and the spindle that's why you place the object okay so we call this instrument the micrometer what screw gauge okay the micrometer screw gauge okay so now um apart from that we have the frame which is holding the anvil and the spindle and then you have what called the datum line okay the datum line very important line okay a very important line okay so the datum line here if you see something like this okay something like this okay so there are numbers on top okay you have readings on top okay and you also have readings what down okay you have readings on top and down on the datum line okay so this is our main scale okay this is our main what scale okay that's our main scale okay so apart from that you have now the circular scale which starts after okay it starts after the what the main scale okay so here you have readings like this okay readings like that okay so this is called the circular okay the circular what scale okay the circular scale and then you have the ratchet there okay so now the formula for micrometer screw gauge so micrometer screw gauge reading the formula is simply main scale main scale reading plus circular scale again here the circular scale multiplied with the degree of accuracy which is 0 0.01 but this one is in milli meters okay to be in what in milli meters okay so again precautions to take there are the precautions there ensure that the jaws of the micrometer screw gauge are completely closed by turning the ratchet until you hear a click so how do you close the jaws of the micrometer screw gauge you simply turn the ratchet okay check again that the zero mark of the thimble scale is completely in line with the horizontal line of the reference scale okay so again this is to avoid zero at zero errors okay this is simply to avoid zero errors okay so now uh, now that we've looked at the vernier calipers and the micrometer screw gauge okay can also we've looked at the ruler okay so now we have three instruments three main important instruments used when measuring the length okay and that is the micrometer screw gauge the vernier calipers as well as a meter rule you can also use a measuring cylinder okay so now all of our uh, measurements under length okay they have a certain what unit okay they have a certain what unit okay they have a certain unit and so these units now set the SI unit for length okay SI unit for length SI unit for length we said is what meter okay in meter okay but you find that uh, the vernier calipers is measured in centimeters okay the micrometer screw gauge is measured in in millimeter okay so depending on what you are given okay so this is the si unit okay but according to the question you can use other units under the what the si unit okay so you have centimeters and what millimeters okay